Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. I'm really excited to bring to the table more experience, more how-to tips than anyone out there on the web. Uh, I've been doing this 30 plus years and what I'm doing is I'm putting together the digital download of how-to. You know, I've said it many times, we wrote the book on rainwater drainage and we actually give this exact same manual to our service reps and they go through all the material and then they take a test. So when they come knock on your door, it's guaranteed that they know how to solve your problem. And what you're gonna gain from this, if you're the DIY, you'll be able to understand all parts of the rainwater drainage system. Everything from French drains, crawl space, driveway drains, channel drain. There's so many different parts of this rainwater drainage system and you're gonna understand all of them. If you just want the knowledge, maybe you just wanna have a contractor do the work for you. You're gonna be able to, to know exactly what you need what works, what doesn't work. And when that contractor comes out and says, you know, hey, I can do this, this, and this, you say, I want you to do this, this, and this. And they'll do it for you. So you could easily talk to that contractor and make sure that the job gets done properly. So take a look. We're gonna start with basement exterior waterproofing. This is the first video of several of basement waterproofing. It's very simple, but is a lot of labor and there's a lot to understand especially when you're digging down in an older home let's say it's from 1940 as you dig down that wall it's quite deep <laughs> it's going to be down there eight or ten feet and what do you do when you get to that footer what if there's already a system there did that system fail you know what what's the options that you have so let's take a look at basement exterior water <music> Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are waterproofing the basement walls of a church. Water has been coming through the walls into their meeting rooms down below. This is a fairly deep excavation. We're going to get down there about eight feet. And as we started the excavation, what we found was someone had poured a sidewalk and we have to remove that sidewalk. Basically, someone came in and they backfilled, trying to uh, fix the negative grade. Backfill doesn't work. And so we have to dig down this wall, and you can see I got the crew out here, we're just picking up the rubble. Had to break that sidewalk up and remove it before we could even start the excavation. Someone had poured a sidewalk right up against the foundation wall, trying to fix negative grade. And of course that didn't work. So then the next chairman of the board came in and said, let's go ahead and backfill the area and see if we can get this water to move away from the area. Of course that didn't work. So we're out here digging and we pulled away the first little bit of soil and we found that sidewalk. We've got to break that out and remove that before we can even begin this excavation. If you live in an older home, say 1940s, it's very possible that you'll find a sidewalk buried under that soil. That's why we're showing this clip. And we've got to remove all of this concrete, all the rubble, haul it away, and then we can actually begin our excavation. We're going to get down there about eight feet, and we're going to get down to the footer. The footer is where the problem exists, not there at the surface. Negative grade, trying to fix it with soil and concrete, is not going to solve the problem. You've really got to get down to the footer. This is where all that labor comes in and the DIYer can save a great deal of money doing this labor himself. Basement footers are very deep and if you're not getting down to the footer before you install your French drain, we call it a footer pipe, you're going to have problems. So many videos out here are showing you digging down this wall only a few feet and putting in a French drain. This is going to cause more problems than you can imagine. You've got to get down to the footer. This takes some time. You can see the guys. I've got four guys out here digging and we're doing this by hand. The soil is rock hard clay and we are digging this down. You can see we've got down to the footer. When you find the footer, there's no doubt that you found the footer. We need to lay our footer pipe alongside the footer and this is going to have a sump pump to lift it up and send it out to daylight. Our notebook is filled with how-to tips and things that work and things that don't work. For example, can you see the downspout drain? 
This downspout drain probably caused more problems here than anything else. The downspout drain was just splashed out onto the ground. All of that water from the roof, remember this is a church. This has got 8,000 square feet of roof and all of that water came right down into the basement. The downspout drain is the most important drain in any rainwater drainage system. The sump pump is best used to remove water when there's no fall or gravity for discharge. It's fast, quiet, and very reliable. We use the Zoller pumps, most commonly model M98 submersible with a half horsepower motor. It has an inch and a half discharge line and a check valve to prevent backflow. To date, we have never been back to replace one of these pumps. That's not to say they last forever, but they do last a long time. The sump pit, the liner, is 24 inches deep, surrounded by gravel to promote drainage into the pit. The pit is large enough to allow water to gather for the pump to lift out. It comes with a solid lid cover to help reduce moisture and radon gas as well. We use a core bit to drill through the foundation wall. The hole is usually two inches, which allows the perfect fit for inch and a half PVC pipe to be inserted. It's a perfect fit. We can core walls, foundations, and curbs. These notes are from our handbook. We actually give this handbook to every employee and they learn everything that you're learning right now. So they become qualified technicians and that's what you will become after watching these videos. Learn how to clean and repair, replace and install every part of the rainwater drainage system only here at Apple Drains. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.